Wellman Education. Welcome, dear learners. Today, you are going to know about the prepositions. Preposition is one of the parts of speech. Here, you are going to know about the prepositions of time. This is very important. One should know what are the prepositions used when we describe about the time. Use of at, on and in. At 10 am, at this moment, at lunch. Our school starts at 8 am. I invite her at lunch. We reach school at quarter to 8. There is the full sentence. I need some money at this moment. We will go to London at Christmas. We will go to see movie at night. So here you have to see where the preposition is being used. On is used with days and dates. Like on Sunday, on 23rd January, on the Republic Day, on New Year's Day, on a December morning. Now few sentences we will see how these are used. I go to my grandparents house on Saturday. We visit her on New Year's Day. We witness parade on the Republic Day. We visit Netaji Bhavan on 23rd January. We go to Mother Teresa's Sishu Bhavan on a December morning. In is used with parts of the day and with months, years and seasons. In the morning, in August, in two, 2021, in summers, You have to practice them in the sentences. So let us take some examples. We go to school in the morning. We get freedom from British in August. We go for vacation in summers. We achieve independence in 1947. So here you have to practice. By is used with a sense or meaning not later than. Here is some examples. You must be home by 7 pm. Students must be school by 8 a.m. For is used to express duration, duration of the time. Some examples. 
Mr. Gomez taught at this school for five years. Principal has known me for seven years. Since is used to indicate time duration. The president has been addressing the joint session of parliament since 11 o'clock. You have to practice them a lot to be familiar with this type of sentences. From, it indicates starting point of an action. An IELTS exam will be held from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Here is the duration of the time. 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. near about 3 hours. We were at Milan City from 1st to 10th May. That means from 1st to 10th we were at Milan City. We were present there. During is used to suggest the whole of the period for which an action continued. It continued to snow during the night. I could not receive your calls for you called me during the class hour. I will visit the Parliament Bhavan during my stay in Delhi. In, within, in that means at the end of, within means before the end of, this difference you have to know, then only you can use them intelligently. Here is the example, students will be able to complete this assignment in a week. C will be able to finish this assignment within a month. Until by. Until means the action continues up to a certain moment. By means the action will occur at or before a certain future moment. Please wait here until she comes back. I will return your pen by Sunday morning.
we do not use at on or in before next last this every tomorrow and yesterday please take a look principal will see him next saturday let's go to the market this evening we went to canada last summer english team play cricket every weekend He phoned me yesterday evening. Remember the use of since and for in the in the perfect tense. Since for 12 o'clock yesterday 12 June 2022 my childhood here we can use since for is used like 3 hours 2 days a long time 5 years ages you can say years you can say months practice them in a sentence speak them aloud have more and more practice thank you for watching subscribe and share this for more videos you need to subscribe as well as share among your friends